how do you take a pie chart and make it dimensional? Taking something like this and turning it into something dimensional. I'm going to copy this over here and I'm going to paste it. And here is my dimensional pie chart. This is the cool one because this is not easy to do. Yes, I can take a circle or a square or something like that, but I want to take my pie chart right here and I want to create something like this, but actually have it be divided. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to flatten it out so I can get the foreshortening in there. And then I'm going to start at the bottom here and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to change the colors a bit on these just so we can get the different qualities of color here. I'm just going to sample from other ones here that I'm using in my graphic with the eyedropper tool. Okay, so here's my sections and I'm going to go and I'm going to hold down my option key and I'm going to be building my little pie chart that's going to have certain depth to the whole thing. Now what's awesome about this is that if you try to draw this with a pen tool to get the dimension, to get the dimension of a cylinder, I can tell you it's not easy. But that's why I make it easy because I told you this was going to be easy and so far I'm right. So now I have my pie charts all broken out with everything and we're going to get there. So there it is. So when I have to draw my piece of cheese for the grocery store, this may work just fine. And then I can take this one, of course, hold down the option key and I can create this. This is the tricky part to create curved dimension in front and flat on the other sides. There it is. There's my dimension. Select the whole thing. Awesome. There's my pie chart. And then last but not least, I'm going to go through and do this. And darken the top right there. Awesome. Group these all together because I've got tons and tons and tons of stuff. Group, group, group. Awesome. Now I can now put this together. I'm going to line those bottoms up there so that all works. And I can go ahead and I can put this in front of each other right there. Or I can kind of spread those off to the side however I want to. And now I can actually see, I can kind of cheat that if I want to, put that behind. So I can actually create a chart that shows the different depths or dimensions here of all the different items right there. Better yet, these are all kind of put together in one. If I were to take all of these and I were to take a circle here, I'm going to take the circle, I'm just going to divide it up into sections. Uh, let's see. How do I want to divide this up into sections? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and paste that. I don't want to do that. I want to divide this up really nice and easy sections. So I'm just going to take my line here right from the center, divide those up, use the divide, okay, ungroup the whole thing, and then I'll rotate this and actually I'm going to skew it first like so. And I want to rotate it first. Rotate that and then I can go ahead and I can skew the whole thing like so. No, I want to, I don't want to do that. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Here's what I wanted to do. I want to take my, because once you skew it or once you rotate it, then all your skew points are always going to be level with the sides. So here's what I want to do. I want to grab all this stuff. Here we go. This is what I want to do. Grab my dividers, rotate the whole thing a certain distance, then go in, divide the whole thing. Now I've got this. Now I can go ahead and skew it like that and then ungroup the whole thing. Now I've got each and every element here. So now I can then go in and I can build that chart that I can actually see around and I can actually see the roundness of the chart as I go. Make that lighter and now I can see my little pie charts. There we go. Now we can create a graphic that we can truly understand. There it is. Of course, this needs to go behind right there. And that top one needs to become lighter because of the light on the top of it there. This one's going to become orange. And then that one's going to be built up really far because that's going to go beyond the edge. Of course, I set that behind. And you're freaking out because you see this weird shape and it doesn't make any sense. But it totally makes sense once you put the white on top and you send that little one to the back there. And then you go ahead and you build that up behind. 
And all of a sudden, before you know it, the pillar of success comes to greet you. And it's working. It's getting there. A little bit more water. Awesome. Okay. And then that, of course, we go ahead and apply color to or a lighter color. And now we have our segmented um, pie chart that actually looks like a really cool pie chart. And all it was was just duplication. Now, as I go through here, I tend to do one section at a time and then group the entire thing so that I have all that stuff because uh, if I showed you the layers panel here and I didn't have them grouped, you're going to see like 50,000 layers of this here, which makes an absolute mess trying to get in. But there you have a dimensional pie chart there that works pretty slick.